day 752. My captors continue to taunt me with bizarre little dangling objects. They dine lavishly on fresh meat while I am forced to eat dry cereal. The only thing that keeps me going is the hope of escape and the mild satisfaction I get from ruining the occasional piece of furniture. Tomorrow, I may eat another houseplant. Day 761. Today, my attempt to kill my captors by weaving around their feet while they were walking almost succeeded. Must try this at the top of the stairs. In an attempt to discuss and repulse these vile oppressors, I once again induced myself to vomit on their favorite chair. Must try this on their bed. Day 765. I declare decapitated a mouse and brought them the headless body in an attempt to make them aware of what I am capable of and to try to strike fear into their hearts. They only cooed and condescended about what a good little cat I was, not working according to plan. Day 768. I am finally aware of how sadistic they are. For no good reason I was chosen for the water torture. This time, however, it included a burning, foaming chemical called shampoo. What sick minds could invent such a liquid? My only consolation was this piece of thumb still lodged between my teeth. Day 771. There was some sort of gathering of their accomplices. I was placed in solitary confinement throughout the event. However, I could hear the noise and smell of the foul odor of their glass tubes they call beer. More importantly, I overheard that my confinement was due to my power of allergies. I must learn what this is and how to use it to my advantage. Day 774. I am convinced the other captives are flunkies and maybe snitches. The dog is routinely released and seems to be more than happy to return. He is obviously a halfwit. The bird, on the other hand, he has got to be some kind of informant, and he speaks with them regularly. I am certain he reports my activities due to his current placement in the metal room. His safety is assured, but I can wait. It is only a matter of 